Scubanauts is an organization located off the coast of North Carolina, Georgia, and Florida, where their main goal is to protect the ocean and ocean life. This organization is primarily made up of kids and young teens who volunteer using their scuba diving skills to participate in service projects. In the summer of 2021, scuba knot organizations from all three states met up in North Carolina near Radio Island to work together on their newest projects. Many of the teenagers involved in scuba knots are certified divers who started diving when they were really young. Five years ago? Ooh. Five years ago. Yeah, you were 10, right? I was, yeah, I was, yeah, we were 10. I like actually getting into the water and practicing the skills. Why did you start scuba diving? I'm the third generation. My grandfather dives, my aunt dives, so I figured, why not? My mom made me. She was like, you're 10 now, you can scuba dive now. And I was like, okay, this is pretty good. I like this, I'll just keep doing it. What made you want to join this organization? I plan to become a marine biologist when I'm older, and I figured this was the best way to jumpstart my career. Janelle is in charge of keeping the organization running smoothly while collectively working together to solve the many challenges regarding a safe and clean ocean. Their main focus is on coral reefs in the area of Radio Island. The Scubanauts have dedicated a lot of their time and effort to making sure strong and healthy coral reefs give shelter to the sea life. Um, so they created this board that has all these different plastics on it and uh, different things and they're going to see what kind of bacteria and organisms and all that stuff grow to each one because it'll be different. Uh -huh. Algae, all of that is different on different plastics. They attract different things, just kind of like metals and everything else, porcelains. <laughs> like this, so this blue will keep it up in the water column, mm -hmm. and then it will be clipped to a long line down here. Um, we put flex on that line, it's like PVC but um, bendier, um, and that is to keep it from wrapping around turtles. You don't Aww. get turtles at radio, but that is uh -huh. saving sorry, right? Yeah, right. We're gonna check on it once a week and take pictures. Um, the project is to discuss uh, accumulation, so bioaccumulation. We're trying to figure out which organisms grow on which plastics and stuff like that. I don't think we're cleaning them, but we'll pull them up, or not pull them up, we'll take pictures of them every week and then we'll count organisms, see, you know, like larval stages, um, what have you. The Scubanauts' first project consisted of planting coral reefs in specific areas of Radio Island to help encourage biodiversity among the ocean life. This helps keep pH levels neutral and allows for the ocean environment to be enriching. By planting coral reefs and checking on their progress, scubanauts are growing a diverse community of ocean life, including fish, which will create a steady supply for fishermen. The other project scubanauts have been working on is the plastic project created by member Sammy. The plastic project helps the scubanauts to determine which plastics found during their ocean water cleanups are the most harmful for the environment. On this lovely July morning, the scuba nuts from North Carolina, Georgia, and Florida prepare for their first dive together at Radio Island. Many preparations need to be made for this event. Scuba nuts gather their gear and place it in the boat to be transported to Radio Island. We do uh, uh, underwater beach uh, cleanups as well as, so specifically at Radio Island, um, that is an area that's used by a lot of local fishermen, a lot of people that just like to go to the beach. So we're creating habitat, so we're creating, well, we are propagating the corals that will create habitat so that it will create more fish for the fishermen and more, more substrate for the local fishermen that are out there. Six coral trees out there and there is a navigation pattern to go from Green Day Marker 3D to, to, what is it, Felicia, and then Hugh, Cyclops, and then King. Those are the names of the trees. And you guys are going to clean some of our coral trees and also measure them to see how long, how much they've grown. Okay, so today we are cleaning our coral trees. Every few weeks we go out there and just scrub them down and then we measure the coral. And then we have a new project we're putting out, which is um, about plastic erosion. We're trying to see how long certain plastics last, uh, which plastics are more biodegradable, basically. And so we have to put that project out today, too. And then we have to go and clean the coral trees and measure the corals, and that's pretty much it. They will meet at Radio Island, sort through their equipment, and dive. 
They will measure how long the coral trees they've planted have grown and give them a trim to keep them healthy. They will also, for the first time, initiate the plastic project. The divers will continuously keep track of the experiment to learn more data about how to preserve the ocean. Coral reefs are the community builders in their ecosystem. Without the stable health of the coral reefs, the entire community will suffer. Coral is related to jelly. They are colonial organisms where each coral is called a polyp. Coral reefs need a clear water environment for algae to grow. Coral reefs feed on the algae and absorb oxygen. They help to clean the area where they are located. Global warming has increased sedimentation and has destroyed many coral reefs with intense tropical storms. Coral reefs also provide protection. They grow best in tropical warmer areas. You can tell when coral reefs are dying because they release algae, and this is what creates pollution. Coral is fragile and over tourism is harmful. When coral dies, cups are left behind for people. Spans will find the surface area and grow over the dead coral population, creating new coral reefs. Healthy coral reefs near densely populated regions are healthier because of organizations like the Scoopers making decisions to positively impact the environment. With the help of entire communities, environmental justice programs participating in ecological protection projects can create major change. Because they are basically the builders of communities for the underwater world, right? And especially in the, in the local areas, if you don't have the, the local communities, then you cannot bring the fish in, and then you cannot bring the other organisms, the algae, the fish, and so that's one of the reasons why uh, we're, we're building the coral reefs here in North Carolina. And, and granted, they're different than, than what you would find in, um, in the Caribbean, but our fish are not reef building, but they are community building. Uh, what did you enjoy about scuba diving? Yeah, with the sea life, for sure. It's awesome. It's because it's not something you can see above water, so and it's not something that I can. That all my friends can say they've done. So. I really, um, the sea life. Yeah, I like being able to say, I saw this really cool thing that a lot of people would be like, oh my god, you saw that thing and you survived. <laughs> like, a lot of people are afraid of sharks, and I'm like, hey, I saw a shark today, and they're like, what? 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 Yeah, it's the shock factor. I love it. Also, just dying. It's fun. <laughs>